The Greatest Deception Ever, brought to you by GoesViral.net. Question everything. All war is based on deception. Sun Tzu, the art of war. This war is for your mind. I wish I could tell you that there was only one great deception, but there are many, way too many to list here. I'm going to give you my top five. Please research these or others that you might discover as a result of seeing this presentation. Bottom line, do not take my word for it. What if I told you the very money you use every day puts you into bondage? That's crazy, you say. What if the Federal Reserve was an entity outside the United States? It was no more federal than Federal Express. And because they own their own money, it is their property, and it is a debt instrument. You now fall into the category of being a debtor with a loan you can never pay back. And as a result, you become their chattel, and they own you as a result. Crazy, you say. Once you read this book, they own it all, including you, by means of toxic currency and then others, like the Secrets of the Federal Reserve by Eustace Mullins, or The Creature from Jekyll Island, or the tape The Money Masters. You will get a very clear picture of just exactly how this can be. Like I said, please, do your own research. You were tricked into thinking you were free. When you use their money, you then become their property and fall into admiralty law and they go to great lengths to make sure you never tumble to it. But as I said, do your own research. When you do, I think you'll come to the same conclusions I did. Solution? Start looking for alternatives. Deception number two. We see way too far. In this picture, you can see mountaintops that are hundreds of miles away. We are told that we are flying through space at thousands of miles per hour in at least four different directions, and yet our senses tell us we are still. We are told that water curves and is held onto our sphere by the theory of gravity. We are told that there is no barrier between the vacuum of space and the lightest molecules that form our outer atmosphere. We are told that the sun is 93 million miles away, and yet we see corpuscular rays come through the clouds that tell our senses that the sun is close. We are told that the moon's light is a reflection of the sun, but its light's properties are cold, and the dividing lines between shadow and light are much too crisp for that to be. The final nail in the coffin, though, is we see way, way too far, and technology improvements are verifying that we've been deceived into thinking we lived on a sphere, when our senses tell us, and our technology tells us, we live on a plane, and perfectly still. Crazy, you say. All I can say is, do your own research. I'll give you some keywords to search on, though. But you first must understand the formula for determining the curvature of the Earth. Learn this first and know it well. It is very basic. 8 inches times the mile squared. First mile is 8 inches. Second mile is 2 squared or 4 times 8 or 32 inches of curve. Third mile is 3 squared or 9 times 8 inches or 72 inches of curvature and so on and so on. Can you imagine a hundred miles? Formulate that in your mind and see how many inches of curvature you get there. Now for the keywords. World's longest distance photograph. Search that on Google or YouTube. YouTube, the P-1000 proves Earth is not a sphere. Boats over the horizon brought back by camera. Longest sun slash mirror reflection distance record. Longest laser shot across water or frozen lake. 
Computer simulation of high altitude balloons. Aries failure. Horizon always rises to your eye level. Fish eye lens creates the curve. Large bodies of water that never appear to curve. The Kanagao sunset. Watch the Jaronism video on the Kanagao sunset. Salton Sea experiments. Salar de Uni mirror. Here's a place on earth 4,000 square miles of a salt flat that when it rains two inches, it forms a perfect mirror. Try to figure that out in your mind. How is that possible? Gyroscopes and the flat earth. Cell phone accelerometers and the flat earth. High altitude balloons and the flat earth. Sun circles over the northern hemisphere. Here's a link for a technological improvements that will change our world greatly. I could go on and on and on, but these keywords will get you to question everything if you are ready to have a discerning mind. Look up these keywords on the previous page. Do your own research. It is the outright accumulation of the evidence that once it starts to sink in, will finally get you to start to question everything. Deception number three, 9-11 was not what we were told. Let this picture of Building 7 sink in. Building 7 fell for several seconds at free fall speed. When this phenomenon is fully understood by you, you will realize it was a controlled demolition and must have been pre-planned. Research Architects and Engineers for 9-11 Truth. StopLookThink.com also has some good info on the subject. Deception number four, Sandy Hook. All I can say here is research Wolfgang Halbig. He will even take your calls. He was a leading government expert witness and a training expert on school shooting preparation. Watch all the videos you can find on this guy. His hits on YouTube break records for the subject matter. Then draw your own conclusions. The fifth and by no means the least is the NASA deception. Here I would like to give you some keywords again to search on. Bubbles in space, wires in space, reflections of wires in space, green screen malfunctions in space, the Van Allen belts in space, balloons for satellites, vacuum of space and space suits, meteorites and the ISS or International Space Station, satellites by being hit by micrometeorites and the flat earth, perfect circle impacts on the moon, lunar wave, then on YouTube, watch the video, A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Moon, and the video, Astronauts Gone Wild. Then watch the channel, Scrawny to Brawny. His YouTube channel is excellent. He does great work, especially recently. Watch the Goldbusters live every Sunday and listen to their latest research. Ask yourself the probing questions as to why they, NASA and the powers that shouldn't be, would want to deceive you. Refer back to the book, They Own It All, including you, for further details. When you understand the money side, when you understand the property side, when you understand the control side, when you understand the power side, you will begin to see the whole side of the equation. Happy researching, happy questioning, happy discernment. Here's putting all the pieces of the puzzle together so that true freedom can be achieved. Thank you very much. In Lakesh.